Hello. What up? I'm here. Well, I'm just waiting for Chuck. I wasn't sure how this shit was even going to work because Dave usually, like, I just used his phone last time. We just kind of chilled him out. Sorry, I was wondering why it was so low. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. It sounds a little better. Right. Yeah, no, I had I had it on Bluetooth, stupid headphones. Uh, but yeah, no, I was just watching more Peacemaker because I love that show. <laughs> is a new episode? Is that new one out yet? That came out oh, Friday. I thought. Oh, so. I guess it's Friday. I I got confused with Wednesday being Book of Boba Fett, which is okay. I'm not yeah, really. It's not great. That. Yeah, I love Ming. No win because she's a badass, but uh, that's about it. Yeah, she is a badass. And hot. Oh, yeah, Danny Trejo is actually in it, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. He was the fucking the, the monster keeper or whatever the fuck. Yeah, the Rancor keeper, yeah. Yeah, I always forgot what those things are called. Uh, that's okay. I'm a giant Star Wars nerd. <laughs> I do I do like that fucking new uh, the, the Wookiee guy. He's pretty badass, too. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. He reminds me of, like, uh, Michael Clark Duncan or something. <laughs> oh, rest in peace. Right? That man was so nice. I've been watching this movie called The Wave on Prime. This shit's fucking crazy. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, based on the uh, really fucked up experiment in the schools in the 1980s. Yeah, like some kind of fucked up drug. Yeah, okay, so since I got you and no one else has seen it, why did you not like Valesa, Valesa Pastor? I didn't mind it, but it was it was just fucking goofy, man. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> the VH, the, the 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 explosion in the beginning of the movie is like just an explosion, and then that's it. You don't see anything. Yeah, that blew our minds. We were like, "What the fuck?" Like I watched this old ass bootleg version of fucking uh, that Dale and Tucker vs. Evil or whatever it was. Oh my god, I love that movie so much. Well, like, whenever that kid runs into that fucking tree and, like, yeah. impales himself. Yeah. Like, it didn't have the bee oh, landing on his nose. It just said, image of bee landing on nose. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have the effect in yet. And then that shit fucked with me, too. Oh. But uh, I was just letting you know, You should. I'll let Dave know that I'm actually going to be on vacation. I'm going, get, heading up there for five days, February 10th to the 15th. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, going to be getting Jaslyn, my awesome tattoo artist, getting more ink, and then going to hang out with people, get really drunk, and forget about how horrible things are. Uh, speaking of being drunk, I'm, a, I'm just open to one right now, actually, guys. Good to, good to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also wearing a shirt of the first thing that I'm going to talk about in terms of Halloween sequels. I might get be getting some pushback from that because the latest Halloween sequel people did not like. No. <laughs> oh, okay, so this should be interesting. I'm going to okay. tell why I liked it, and so you can say why you didn't like it. And trust me, I hate Tommy Doyle too. But yeah, there's a lot of reasons why I didn't like it. We can we can we can get into that tonight. <laughs> okay, uh, I will I'm, agree. I, I still have so, mixed feelings about that one. That was overused yeah. a lot. The hospital scene was unnecessary. So yeah, oh, I got really like now. me and my friends, we, me and my buddy that I do another podcast with, uh, he'll message me and be like, "Evil dies tonight." And that usually means something. <laughs> it usually means something's going on. Oh God! Evil dies sure. tonight. <laughs> the funny. ending to that was so fucking brutal. I'm just like, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, so are we going to do this like we usually do and just like whenever we're like, okay, we're ready and just go and then. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So since this is not on the video clerks thing, I'm sure Dave can figure out what to do because Dave didn't tell us that. Right. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> yeah. We miss you. Uh, be over there. Um, what's but, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so let's get this started. Okay, so we're doing this is this is going to be a weirder episode of Video Clerks because uh, our normal person that does all the tech is down with COVID. So yeah, it's it's this is how it's going to start. It's pretty much starting now. <laughs> the chief is not with us. 
Yeah. So I'm your host, Andrew, and uh, introduce yourself, other people. Chug Nasty. The Clown. Hello? Okay. okay. We have another person. I guess they're doing stuff right now. And Patrick, I guess, is still on vacation or sick. Yeah, I, I was wondering what was up with him. So I just, uh, I just found out that I have, I have COVID. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's not fun. So anyway, since I already know someone <laughs> that doesn't like Halloween, <laughs> like ha- 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 Halloween. What is it? Halloween begin. Kills? Halloween kills. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Halloween kills. That's right. Yeah, Halloween kills. The one person's undecided. The other person. <sighs> so here we go. So Halloween kills. I liked a little bit more than the the reboot for Halloween. I I thought that. Really. Go on. Um, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you why. Okay, so I liked. It initially because of all the callbacks to the older Halloweens, and I'm a big fan of Season of the Witch. Yes, I Me know. Too. Season of the Witch. I love okay. Season of the Witch. And then I liked that they had the older adults come back, and some some people that haven't been part of the franchise since the freaking first movie. The flashback scenes were really well done. The dialogue... Uh, Evil Dies Tonight was repeated way too much for my taste. It kind of mm-hmm. became at some points but regarding yeah. the part, <laughs> Ricky Schroeder thought, wanted to end everything yeah <laughs> evil dies tonight was just like okay we get it evil is dying but uh besides besides that I can see why people didn't like it I only I, I will say the inclusion of the therapists and the fake Dr. Loomis not being in it was, to me, better. Because, God, I hated that part in Halloween. And, yeah, I didn't like that guy either. Yeah. That doctor was annoying. So, <laughs> Halloween. So, the firefighter scene was probably one of the best things that I've seen in a Halloween movie. In a long time. Well, <laughs> actually, you can, you can actually say it's, it's the best Friday the 13th movie that there ever was. In a while. <laughs> Because he kills like Jason Voorhees in this movie. He doesn't kill like <laughs> like Michael Myers. Yeah, but yeah that's a great scene. No, 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 we'll, just, we'll, we'll get to me in a second. <laughs> it's okay. I know you really want to tear it apart. Oh, I want to rip it. I want to rip it a new one. I want to give it two buttholes. Okay. <laughs> Another thing I liked was the couple. They didn't need to be in the movie, but they were amusing. Also, for people that have watched, um, like, what is it? Real, real, real quick, can we go ahead and just tell everybody there's a good possibility since we're talking about this Halloween movie that there's going to be some spoilers. Yeah. Uh, so if you haven't seen this movie and, and you don't, don't care about spoilers, then come on, keep listening. If you uh, have an issue with that, then go watch the movie and listen to this. Oh, come on. We spoil other things, too. It's, it's, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, one of the... One of the one of the people as the couple was uh, the man co- that went by Stuart and other things in Mad TV sketch show. And uh, Stuart. that was just so strange to see him play a street role, which he wasn't in that. But yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> and, and yeah, you know, Michael doesn't care. But I, I thought that not having Laurie Strode as like a main character, like it was kind of nice to see. Like I don't know, I like the world building. I'm weird. I like the fact that it, it focused on the townspeople. Okay, <laughs> I just it's okay. It's some okay. of the dialogue was a little bit better. But this is but why I have ending, mixed feelings though, about it. The ending was just ah so good. Let's you let's. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Now. Let's go. Ahead, hold, hold, hold. Before 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 I go in and just totally, I want I want I want to hear a uh, psychodistic clowns. Uh, I want to I want to because I feel like me and him are gonna like we're gonna meet on this one. So I want to hear your opinion on this. Yeah, I like the violence, but the story is goofy. 
<laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I, I, I will agree with both of you on that. The story was goofy, but damn it, I, won- <laughs> I, I was okay with that. Actually, the, the gore and the action was dope because the killing scenes, they, they were de- very, very like Jason esque. They were. Because mm-hmm. okay. they came, they came out yeah. swinging too, though, so that was dope too with the fireman scene. Because that was right yeah, the, the fire the firefighter scene was great. I just kind of wish that the uh, trailer didn't ruin that whole thing. I just kind of wish people didn't bitch about that. My main thing is I'm I'm done with like people with people attacking what? Oh, hello. I think he got cut off. Yep. Damn it. Because I really wanted to hear it. There we go. Okay. All right. Finish. Every, every time the screensaver <laughs> kicks back on, it causes me to go fuck myself. Fuck that screensaver. <laughs> then it mutes me out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, like, in, that, in that like last end scene where they're all fighting in the street, I don't know why they didn't just like jump on his ass, like all of them. At one time. Yeah. I don't. I, I No, I agree. I don't understand that either, but I guess they needed some drama to ensue, even though Tommy Doyle, evil dies tonight. They, they needed to make sure I got fuck up. Yeah. Evil does tonight. <laughs> Shit. Evil does tonight. God. Uh, it fucking me up because it wasn't Paul Rudd from like the fit, like the what was it, the sixth movie? The sixth one, yeah, the curse. Yeah. But because yeah, I love that I guess one. none of those existed, so you had to like not even look after part like two. You know, I, I honestly right. forgot that Paul Rudd was in the Halloween movies. That makes me want to go back and rewatch them. Paul Rudd he was, was in one. Man, I'll watch anything with him in it. That was his first movie. Wow. Yeah. Not Marley and me. I think it was like uh, that, and then like Clueless, right? Yeah, yeah. And it, it, it's actually funny because uh, I love Curse of Michael Myers. Um, I love the franchise. But if you uh, if you actually, um, there's an interview that I, that I watched with him where he was talking about the Curse of Michael Myers, and he was talking about how he didn't know what he was thinking. But if you notice his voice in it. He tries to do some weird, creepy accent through the whole thing that I didn't even <laughs> pick up on until he said it. And I'm like, wow, he does come off like a little more, I don't know, rapier than, than he probably should. Interesting. Okay. Let me have the baby. Now, now go ahead. I know you've been wanting to do this. All so right. Go so this, tell all right. Why you hated it. All right. Now, in true fashion, Dave did say that I have at least a few minutes on every episode to rant. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> okay. So, if, if, so if this is if this is what we're if this is the topic we're going with, then uh, uh, everyone out there in in listening world, uh, strap yourself in. <laughs> no, it's sequel. So, so it's not just this movie. We can talk about other ones too. No, no, no. If you want to, we can actually talk about uh, Halloween. Uh, the 2018, 2019, whatever it was, and we can talk about Halloween Kills. But right now we're talking about Halloween Kills. So here what we're going to do is um, I'm going to give it two buttholes. Uh, <laughs> now, first oh, off, to be in place. that's right. I've had many of them, so I know. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say this. I, I liked Halloween, um, the, the one before Halloween Kills. Um, I thought it was great. I thought it was uh, it was serious. It had a good story plot. It was mm-hmm. uh, it was good. Where they where they they where they cut every other sequel out. Um, I was happy about that. Um, oh, yeah. It was weird, but it was it was they did it right. Um, yeah. Lori Strode isn't his sister in this. That's Fine. not that that isn't even the thing. It's not his sister. Um, that was a thing that wasn't even he wasn't even supposed to be her sister in the first two original sequels. That just no, happened. No. Carpenter um, didn't want that to happen. It was something that somebody else did. Right. No, Carpenter was actually kind of pissed about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Rob Zombie came off and did his remakes, and he got pissed about something else. Um, but we won't get into those. Brother, we won't. We, it's, it's not what we're doing. Halloween <laughs> we're doing kills. Right <laughs> Halloween kills. Okay. But I like, I, like, I like Halloween. I thought that one that was really good. I was really excited because there's this trilogy – it's like, okay, here we go. We have one of our favorite franchise killers coming back, right? Mm-hmm. We, have, we have the shape. Not Michael Myers. We have the fucking shape, okay? Yep. He's going to fucking be creepy. He's going to fucking kill. It's going to be fucking great. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is going to be the badass woman that she's always been. Um, numero uno scream queen next to her mother. Um, yep. 
And so after watching the first Halloween they put out, I was really excited about Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills, 10 minutes into that movie, I'm sitting there on my couch because it was on Peacock when it came out too. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting on my couch and I'm watching my big screen. And I'm going, wow, the picture quality looks really good. Everything else I'm kind of bored with. Um, I didn't... <sighs> let me go through the shit I didn't like. Actually, no. First, let me, let me tell you what I did like about the movie. There and then you. I'll cut into it. Okay? All right. I liked the Donald Pleasance thing. That was cool as fuck. The, uh, mm-hmm. the, the Dr. Loomis. I mean, they, they, they got that guy looking like him hardcore. Uh, yeah. That was awesome. That was great. That was cool. The kills were awesome. Like I said... Uh, Jason Voorhees, he couldn't say it better. I mean, you know, he, you know, he pretty much taught Michael Myers everything he knew in his movies. Um, and I like that, the brutality, whatever. Now, granted, I do appreciate the fact that Jason Voorhees has always been more, a little more brutal. And Michael's already been, always been a little more methodic um, and a little more stalker, stalkerish, you know. Um but I did like I did like 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 you like you said I, I like I like the violence I like the gore, um, I I I was intrigued by it, but there wasn't much that I can really say that I really 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 liked about it. Did I hate the movie? No, I didn't hate the fucking movie. Did I want to hate it? Yeah, I kind of did by the end of it. I've watched it twice now. It was one of those um, kind of movies you wanted to hate, but you really couldn't because you're a fan of the franchise. Exactly. You're like, I've been dying for this. I've been waiting. And then you get it and you're like, God damn it. Um, and I've and there's been a lot of friends of mine who have been torn as well. Kind of how um, I felt about 31. Uh, oh God, we'll get into that some other time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cause I feel the same way. I feel I, I, I yeah, whatever. I, I feel the same way. Um, but what I didn't like about Halloween kills, strap yourselves in. Okay. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I didn't I didn't like the fact that one okay Michael Myers and this other guy have escaped and everybody's in this bar everybody that happens to have been in the past because they you know they you know uh Tommy wanted to bring them all together and all this shit and give his little speech <laughs> which was fucking stupid okay his fucking speech was fucking retarded um, I don't even like that word retarded, but that's what it was. It, it, it wasn't, it, it, it was just, it was, there was, there wasn't sincerity in his, I, I, I didn't, I didn't think he would do that bad in his, in this movie, but he did. He sucked. I didn't, I didn't like it. Um, I also didn't like the fact that, okay, Michael Myers, there's escapes and da, 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 da. Oh, and it just so happens that one of them is in a car right outside but within minutes of knowing that there's been an escape issue in Michael Myers is one of them. Okay. <laughs> um, it just so happens in that parking lot, in that car, boom. Okay. That's annoying. Um, <laughs> that is, that is, that's just stupid. Like, Oh, what are, what are the quickie dink? Um, <laughs> I didn't like, I didn't like the, 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 the flashback thing with the cops shooting the other cop and uh, who fucking gives a shit. I mean, really, did we really fucking need this other storyline of, oh, no, this cop feels really guilty because he shot this other cop because Michael Myers, who cares? It doesn't fucking matter. It does not fucking matter. It doesn't. It was a stupid fucking thing. And it goes back to the thing later on where the sheriff uh, is talking about, oh, Michael Myers is really after me. No, he's not, you piece of shit. You're an idiot. Shut up. That's not even fucking needed either. Um, Going down to the fucking... um, uh, the uh, the evil dies tonight thing. That that is the most irritating fucking scene. Okay, <laughs> now they're all going after this poor, small Danny DeVito sized fucking man. Okay, yeah. and they're like, "What do you mean it's not Michael Myers? Are you fucking kidding me? You act like you fucking grew up with him. You had so many problems. Blah, blah, blah. You'll never forget his face. Ah, da, 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 da. You'll never. Then you should know he's not Penguin." <laughs> okay, that poor son of a bitch jumped out of a fucking window because you're all a bunch of fucking idiots. Now I get the whole mentality of the mob mentality, whatever. I'm fine with that because it goes back to old school horror movies. You always have the mob mentality. Frankenstein is one that will always come up with that. You'll always have that mob mentality. The pitchforks and the fucking like you know the uh, uh, the, the 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 flames and 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 every, you know and everybody we're gonna go we're gonna go kill evil dies tonight. Eat my ass. Um, I, I, it's so cheesy and corny because it's like, you know, 
Tommy, like, you know, he raises his hand and he's like, evil dies tonight. And it's the way he does it. It's like, you're, it's cheesy. Like the Maybe. movie seemed, it seemed rushed as fuck. The movie seemed rushed. It didn't seem serious like the, like the one before. It seemed cheesy as fuck. And the one before it didn't seem cheesy to me. The one before it seemed serious and to the point. And it made a fucking, I mean, it was good. I liked it a lot. This one was a letdown on so many fucking, like, in so many ways. Because I, they just, they, they totally ignored it. I'm sorry, go on. No, uh, no, no. I just wanted to interject one thing. I feel like this director, because, you know, just let people know, Carpenter wasn't the director. He was the producer. Wasn't the director, so he didn't have full control. He did He didn't agree on certain things. But I wonder what his mind was when he was... So we're going to have Tommy Doyle repeat Evil Dice Night 20,000 times. Pretty sure he wasn't happy with that. I think they were trying to make that like the poster tagline. It just didn't catch on. Probably. Yeah, Yeah, I would say that's... You're probably right on that one. I would say you are. For people that don't know, John Carpenter's a huge social commentary like fanboy. And so a lot of the... A lot of the social commentary in the movie worked. It didn't work where it was just a repeated tagline that was supposed to be like, I don't know, a bit heavy handed. Well, it it didn't. That's the thing. And that's what blows my mind about it is like there were so many good scenes in it. I mean, there really were some good fucking scenes. Uh, Like you said, the, the season of the witch throwback with the kids in the mask and all that shit. Like that was cool. You know, you had, um, what was it? There was oh, I gotta say this real quick. One of my favorite kills in that fucking movie isn't even really done by Michael Myers. Can you guess what scene it was? Uh huh. Was that yeah. an uh-huh or a huh huh? No, I said uh huh. Well, yes. well, 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 can you guess what it was? Go ahead, guess. The most ridiculous it, death. It, it was. It was when they were being chased in in the playground, right? Mm, it's yeah, it's in that same scene. Think of a gun. Oh, that part, yeah. 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 So for those again, spoiler alert. Um <laughs> when when Michael Myers, I almost said Jason, when Michael Myers opens the <laughs> fucking door and the girl like pulls out the gun. I mean, he hits her with the door and the gun fucking because she's trying to like fucking like use this fucking thing and it just flies out and shoots her in the fucking face perfect thank you she was annoying <laughs> i mean yeah, that's, yeah. that's one of my favorite fucking kills it really is because it was so clever and so stupid that it was just perfect does that make sense that shit was no 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 definitely i feel like the biggest issue is the scripts people some people had really serious characters Jamie Lee Curtis was amazing, and I kind of felt like her being sidelined was fine because in the third one, she's just going to go all out. Oh yeah, she's going to be she's going to be fucking commando ending. woman. But yeah. then again, they released they released it on video, which I want to see. Apparently, it's an alternate ending, so I'm like, is that going to rewrite the ending to the second movie, or are they going to going to retcon it going into the third movie? Because we'll see. It's interesting because they claim that that's not the end of the franchise. I'm just like. Did well, I mean, you got the ha- same time as they filmed the second one. No, they they didn't. Everybody thinks they did, but uh, they didn't. Halloween ends. They uh, I don't know if they started one. production on it. Yeah, they started well, production. They, they just know. Okay, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't done at the same time. Um, no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, 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 God, this movie just. It pisses me off so much. It does. But it really but you're does. missing the soundtrack was probably one of the best parts of the movie. The score of the soundtrack itself. Yeah. I mean, Carpenter was involved in the soundtrack and the score. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, the man's a fucking genius. I mean, I love John Carpenter. I do. I, me too. The Fogs were my favorite fucking movies, okay? Like, the, the guys are fucking... I mean, fuck. Bert. Escape from New York. Escape from L.A. Fucking... Big Trouble in Little China is a favorite of mine since I was a fucking kid. Loved it so much. I taped it twice. Um, fucking, oh, dude, yeah. I, I mean, there's so many. They live. Yeah, they live. I, I mean, it, the list goes on. I mean, fuck the thing. I mean, come on, folks. Yeah. I mean, one of my best, my, my yeah, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It's so good. It's not even a horror movie. It's just uh, a didn't he do the Hitcher too? No, no, it was yeah. heavily influenced by him, though. 
I love the Hitcher, the original. Was that no, Rucker was Hauer? Craven, yeah, Rucker Hauer. Rest in peace. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't Wes Craven either. Nope. It was uh, some other director that I can't remember who it was. Yeah. But it had fucking too. That's a sad thing. Okay. It's, it's it's a great fucking movie. But okay. um, so, so I, I I have a question. So in terms of we we can agree that like Halloween twenty eighteen is probably one of the best Halloween movies in a long time out of the franchise. Where yeah. would you rate Halloween Kills? On a scale of what one to five? <laughs> no, on a scale of in in terms of the sequels, how would you rate it? <sighs> God, dude. Um, honestly, I mean, it was done so well. I mean, it mm-hmm. really was. I mean, it was. Uh, oh God, because I love. I mean, when it comes down to like, you you almost can't. Okay, like it's almost like, all right, comic books. How many how many different you know uh, Spider Man stories are there? You know, Amazing Spider Man and Spider Man and Spider Man 2019 and or whatever the fuck it was called. Says nine nine. Spider Man 2099. Yeah, yeah, and like you know, there's like there's so many. I mean, you know, all of, you know, just and that's just an example. There's like so many. I feel like that's the same thing with a lot of these remakes and all that stuff, especially Halloween, because this is a totally new chapter. I mean, it goes back from the originals, but it's a new thing. You True, know, but it's, I, I've seen it. I've seen it rated like their top five. I've seen people put it at the bottom of their list. So, like you know, I've it's seen definitely lots of different ones. I mean, fuck, uh, god damn it! I mean, you, yeah, I, I love Halloween movies. <laughs> I love them. That's a hard. Well, one. To be That's... honest, I know you love Halloween. Like we all, like, we all love it. So you can be honest. If you didn't, if you think it's one of the worst in the franchise, then that's up to you. You know, you're, you're. I don't progress. think it's. I don't think it's what I mean. I the the you know the the Halloween 2018, 19, whatever it was. No, no, I'm talking about Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills. We won't even talk about Resurrection Buster (laughs) Rhymes. Yeah, no, we're not going to talk about Resurrection Halloween Kills. Where, where, how would you rate that in terms of all the movies? Not anywhere on my top favorites. Like top ten. Uh, I mean. I would probably say it's not the worst one, but okay. I tell you this much: it's above Resurrection. Well, that's good. Oh no, no, I've I've literally seen people's list, and it's just like dead last. I'm like, you think Resurrection and freaking H two O is better than this? No, no, <laughs> not not no, 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 no. I mean, Halloween <laughs> Kills had its points. Exactly. I would even say like H two O probably ties it because H two O was entertaining at that. I like H two O. H two O was entertaining for its it didn't time. make any fucking sense, but I liked no, it. Didn't. No, but the cover up whenever they like said he wasn't dead made sense more than any of them. True. Yeah. I just yeah. I thought the ending to the first Halloween of the new trilogy was the perfect ending. I'm like, they didn't need another one. They had to though. It's in the I contract. Know, but the trap house was so just so <laughs> well, just so well done. I mean, they. Because I mean I don't know if you know I don't know you you might but the whole story about Mustafa Akkad, um, the guy that produced you know all the Halloween movies until he died, yeah, um, his in the contract because Jamie Lee Curtis I watched the whole thing like I, I after I watched Halloween Kills I I just got this big kick of watching interviews and shit I do that with like every movie like that I'm really into or whatever franchise or whatever. And Jamie Lee Curtis was uh, was talking about it, and she said that uh, she wanted she wanted to be done and over with. She oh, yeah. wanted she wanted Michael to die, and for Laurie Strode to be done and freed, and that's why Resurrection happened, um, oh. and the way the ending of H two O happened because H H two O. You know, we all know, I mean, like, you know, she cuts his head off at the end. Or yep. does she? Because. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You know, yeah. yeah. If you haven't, if you haven't oh, seen on, H2O at this point, then you this, are not a fan. So, fuck this off. This movie is 20. Is it, the movie is like 20 plus years old. The, the, it, who cares? About I don't spoilers. remind me. <laughs> don't remind me. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I saw that yeah. in theaters in high school. Yeah, dude. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, 
mm-hmm. you know, her whole thing, she, she's like, I want to, you know, I want to be done with it. And they're like, well, because of the contract that Mustafa Akkad, you know, made for these movies was you can't kill Michael Myers. It doesn't matter. You can't kill Michael Myers. That's the contract. Mm-hmm. And she's like, you fucking kidding me? She's like, what if we make it look like we killed Michael Myers? And that's why they cut his head off. And that's why we got resurrection. And that's why we got the beginning scene of all that, uh, which is another reason why I'm glad they're, that, that they've done this trilogy. Um, because that just, it wasn't, it, it's not a good ending. It, resurrection was not a good ending. Yeah. Um, and now that, uh, yeah. go on. I said, yeah, because of Resurrections, I feel like it got buried. People didn't want to touch it. And so until David Gordon Green came along, mm-hmm. I think it was like 2015 and pitched what he, his idea was to like John Carpenter. Carpenter's like, well, this is probably the best idea since all the terrible failed sequels that I haven't produced. He Which actually. The funny thing is there's a book about all the video, all the movies that never have been um, there never was, or there were going to be made like a sequel to Season of the Witch, which would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> that would be. Um, the thing is, though, is like, no, uh, was it David Green or whatever the fuck his name is? David Gordon Green. Yeah, he uh, he actually messaged Jason Bloom. Um, I watched a thing where it was the premiere of Halloween Kills. Jamie Lee Curtis was there. Um, and she did a whole thing where she was talking about, um, the night that green fucking messaged, uh, he emailed Jason Bloom and was like, Hey, I've got this idea. And she actually framed the fucking email and gave it to him on stage at this premiere because she's like, this is, she's like, this guy right here is the reason why this is happening. now." Wow. So I thought and, Carpenter like was also contacted. Uh, if he was, I don't know about it. I just know that he contacted Jason Bloom about it, and he was like, "Hey, look, I got this idea for Halloween, and I got you know here. What do you think?" And Jason Bloom was like, "All right, let's do it." And yeah, I mean, like the rest, I, is, history. The rest of the rest is history, and we're still going on. I mean, we you know we still got the last. <laughs> But I mean, I you know I, I when it comes down to our favorite fucking you know franchise killers, I mean, you know we, we we're seeing an, an uprise on some of them, you know that kind of got the shit into the stick for a while. Um, you know, Jason still like I mean due to fucking lawsuits and everything else, you know, Jason old, old Jason's still waiting for his his next big thing, which yeah, I gotta can- say. Well, I, I got to say on that one, um, during the summertime, me and my buddy went to uh, Jason Lives camp. Um, we went and stayed at the, the camp they filmed Jason Lives at. Um, oh, cool. And it was, it, was, and it was bad as fuck. I mean, everybody yeah, there was sweet. just, everybody there was just like all about Jason Lives. And like, it, like we were campers. We really were fucking campers. It was fucking great. <laughs> Um, we stayed in a fucking cabin right down from where the, the, the boys cabin was they shot, you know, um, which actually the inside of that place was not actually what was filmed. But anyway, um, but Tom McLaughlin who filmed that, who also made, uh, uh, he made, uh, sometimes they come back, um, and he's in a band called the sloths and, uh, a good rock and roll band. He's been doing shit for years. I mean, he's got so many fucking movies and shit on, on his, I mean, he, he worked on Dick Van Dyke. Okay, so like the oh, guy's wow. got a fucking. That's actually really cool. I had no idea. Yeah, From we, Dick uh, Van Dyke to Jason. Well, yeah, it's funny because diverse. what's funny yeah. is actually Tom McLaughlin was he was at the camp. He came and visited. Um, mm-hmm. Nice guy. Um, uh, he came a day early. And me and him had a nice little conversation, and then the next night uh, he came back and and they uh, they showed a filming of it in one of the cabins, and he was beside me the entire time while we were watching this and he was super fucking cool dude. And one thing that was really cool about this is, um, we had this big Q and a thing and he showed us something that he was like, I don't want anybody taking pictures of this or nothing because no one else has seen it. 
CJ Graham has already signed on to play play Jason in this. He's writing a script uh, that will totally bring back Jason, and it will totally make it fucking awesome. And that's all I'm going to say about that. It's cool as shit. Oh, but so there's a new one in the works. There's that's good. there's a, there's a, there's a new one in the works, and Tom McLaughlin is the man. He told us the whole plan for it. Um, he he walked us. Or, oh, that's what I was going to say. The Deep Van Dyke thing. He walked us around the camp and showed us, you know, and told us about different uh, things. And mm-hmm. the scene in Jason Lives where the sheriff gets bit in half mm-hmm. <laughs> was actually based off of a, uh, a joke, um, uh, a physical joke thing for Dick Van Dyke they never used. Wow. And he used it <laughs> in a little more. Yeah, right? Like, it's like, how the fuck do you use that? That's yeah, brutal like, how did, Yeah, okay. Interesting. Did, did you... Did you bend Dick Van Dyke in half? What the fuck happened? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Like, that was great. You um, just posed it to Dick Van Dyke. I'm like, uh, no, I don't think we're going to do that. Yeah, always, Dick Van Dyke was like, no, I'm just going to keep tripping over a fucking ottoman. Um, <laughs> CJ Graham was a really cool dude. Like, I met him way back in the day. And he's really Oh, good. dude, he's great. Yeah, man. He's, he, I've never got a chance to meet him, but I've got so many friends who have. that say he's just an awesome dude. I mean, I love we Kane. I think but, me and me and Dave, we went to some con one year, and he was there because he was like, "You're a pretty big dude. You should play Jason X." I'm like, "I'm not fucking nearly as tall as you guys." I'm like, "I'm barely <laughs> wow. six foot." And then whenever I met Kane, I was like, "Yeah, I'm definitely not tall enough to play Jason." Yeah. But then whenever me but, and well, Dave got to do that little fucking video for our Friday at Thirteenth game, that shit was fun. That's uh, my so buddy. Cool. Wow, you actually got him. That's really cool. D uh, Kane Hunter. Well. Kane, my buddy Jason, who I went to Jason Liz with, he's actually really good friends with the guy that made the Jason game. Okay. Really? He, he lives cool. he lives in Lexington, which is about an hour away from here. Like the new J- the new the new game? Friday the thirteenth, yeah. yeah. The game. The, the yeah, the same guy that, his buddy was one of the guys that helped make it too. Huh. Uh, he uh he also was making he also made oh, the, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, which I can't wait for. I heard about A that. A Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Interesting. Yeah, go watch the trailer for that shit. Holy fuck me in the ass. Evil Dead game to come out. Yeah. Yes, Evil Dead. I'm ready for that. Evil game. does tonight. Oh, wrong. No. <laughs> I was I was a bit Evil hesitant. Video, I'm a junkie. I, I, I was about I was a bit hesitant about the Evil Dead game, but then I read more about it. I'm like, okay, this is actually sounding really cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, it was kind of set up, I think, like the Friday the Thirteenth game, but then they kind of changed it and made like a. A single player mode and shit. Yeah, yeah. because that's basically what this it, game's been pushed back like two years, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's, but Evil Evil Dead excels at being like a, a narrative because the, the old games back in the day for the NES were really fun. They were, they, they kind of were. I mean, let's be honest here. They Can't were, be stuck, but the I mean, yeah, no, they were, they were fun, but did you ever beat it? No. Never. No one ever beat that game. Go look that up. That game's unbeatable. There's I no had, end I to it. Fistful of Boomstick one, but I never got the one after that. Oh, Fistful of Boomstick was so fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a good time. Oh, fuck yeah, it was, man. But uh, I, I've got the ne- Necronomicon tattooed on my fucking wrist, actually. Um, I have a whole so sleeve I... dedicated to Evil Dead, and Bruce Campbell signed my arm, and I have it tattooed on me. That's and, amazing. And you win. Yeah. <laughs> if there oh, was a fuck, competition, awesome. you win. Sing me. King you. I guess it's his chest now. Uh Check I actually me. I've never I've never met I've never met Bruce Campbell. Uh Bruce Campbell. Well, that um, was a clusterfuck. It usually is when it comes down to him. Um I uh I like Bruce Campbell. I love Bruce Campbell. I've always been a fan. Everything he's in is fucking hilarious. Um <laughs> I watched the movie last night, Black Friday that had him in. It actually was really oh, good. How was that? A, I need to see that. Oh, it's good. It's a good one, dude. It's it's fun. Thank you for that, because fucking everybody always argues. They're like, that game, that, that movie was so dumb because he didn't play Ash. I'm like, he wasn't supposed to. Like, he was. He doesn't want to play Ash. Opposite. He's, yeah, those he's are the people. Ash. People know. Those are the. Know. Those are the fucking people that just don't fucking get it. That's what like, that I, is. I almost understand why he gets kind of irritated that he just got kind of like tossed in, and people just call him Ash now, not even Bruce. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like, like I get it, but. Yeah, I mean, I, the the, the I mean. Uh, back when he put out "If Chins Could Kill," uh, he was 
he was doing yeah he was doing a uh, uh autograph signing at joseph beth um in lexington about an hour away um and me and a bunch of friends of mine we went we, we gathered up and we went to uh and then my buddy jason the same fucking person i've been to jason camp with who knows the dude that made the, the jason game all that shit um we all went and we found out that if you didn't already have, if you didn't buy his book there, you would have to wait until everybody who did to sign anything else. Right. His book was sold out. So me and a couple other people were kind of pissed off about it. My buddy Jason actually ran up. He got kicked out. And actually, I give him a lot of credit. <laughs> he ran up in front of somebody, okay, um, and shook hands with Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell looked shocked as fuck. He's like, what the fuck? Shook his hand, and he ran off, and he was kicked out. Me and my buddy were standing up above because where Joseph Beth is, the way it is set up, is you have all the adult books and everything, and then you have, like, down lower is the kid books. And me and another friend of mine at the time, uh, we yelled down at Bruce Campbell. We're like, hey, Bruce! And he looks up at us and waves, and we're like, fuck you! <laughs> and he looks he looked so broken hearted that we said that and again i love i love bruce campbell i do but he's a he's kind of a dick i mean he kind of is um but that's also the reason why i love him um but he he he's such a he's one of those actors that like when you watch him like you you he, he's him that's who he is He's Ash. He's every character. He's every, he's Briscoe County Jr. If anybody remembers that fucking show, um, <laughs> do, do you remember Briscoe County Briscoe County Jr.? Do you remember that at all? Um, it sounds familiar. I can't remember the name of the show. Briscoe County Jr. Yeah, that's when oh. I first met Lucy Lawless. Ah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, she I. Ended it's up it's being been a Princess Warrior. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, I, I don't I love Bruce Campbell. I do. I love Evil Dead. I love all that shit, you know? Um, My but, uh, I, I can watch any of those at any given time, at any day. Like, it don't matter. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I mean, like, I, all the figures, all the pop, like the Funko Pops. Like, I got Evil Dead shit out my ass. Evil Dead the musical. If I've never, I've seen, never. It's hilarious. <laughs> it was signed off by both Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell, so they love it. Yeah. That shit was funny. I watched it on. I think it was on Prime there for a little bit. Funny as shit. It's I've the most vulgar it. musical I think I've watched. They literally have a song called "What the Fuck Was That." <laughs> well, it's funny because I, uh, there's uh, this documentary on Shutter called like "Hail to the Deadites." Mm-hmm. Yes. And there's a guy that runs around like he's like he almost looks just like Bruce Campbell whenever he was younger. You know what I mean? And then wow. I'm pretty sure whenever he signed my arm, that dude was in front of me in line. That's it was cool. Just crazy because that was the most I've ever paid for a signature ever. Really? Yeah. 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 Bruce um, loves his money. I can't blame him. Was it? Nothing. You couldn't say hi or nothing. He was just like, "Hey, you like you gave him whatever you wanted to sign. You gave it to him. He signed it. You left." How yeah. much was it? Like three hundred dollars? No, I mean it's only like sixty bucks. Oh. You have not paid- bought, been, been to anime conventions are more expensive than that. Well, I'm usually just meeting everybody on the street because I saw Bruce back in the day whenever my name is Bruce came out back in Baltimore. Oh, wow. I got a picture with him then whenever he was in, like, in the picture. He's pointing at my arm because I had like maybe a third of my sleeve done back in. Yep. Nice. And then I didn't want to get it finished until he signed it. And then once he signed my shoulder above the uh, the, the dagger... Then I went ahead and got the rest of my, f- my arm pretty much finished. Wow, we can but, just have an like entire podcast on like horror or nerdy tattoos. Then <laughs> I, have, I, I mean, I, I have a bunch my myself. Tattoos, really, my whole, my I mean, I, I I've got a, Evil Dead and my left arm's asleep and just horror movies in general. Nice. I've got well, on my uh, I, I I well, I'm a little bare on one arm, but I've got um, uh, I've got a half sleeve. That includes uh, the Le Merchant's box on my elbow. Uh, I have the uh, Amityville house. I have Leatherface. I have the Necronomicon. I have the chick from Not Living Dead. I have Reanimator. I have Doctor Decker from Nightbreed. I have, yeah. I have, uh, I have Angus uh, from Phantasm. Tall man. 
Um, oh, yeah. We met him back in the day. Oh, uh, dude. I, you know, I got I actually got to say it because I know we're going all over the place again because that's what we do. But uh, do. before before Angus died, um, Scarefest was going on, and me and my girlfriend at the time, and my buddy Chris, um, we all met up at Scarefest. My mom, my mom has worked there like every year for like six years now, and cool. uh, they they were doing a phantasm panel and Angus was really sick. Um, and he wasn't able to make it. And I wanted to show my tattoo. I got to show Reggie and and his wife, Gigi. I got to, I got to show them my my tattoo and they thought it was great. Actually. They're like, man, Angus would love this. Right. And, uh, I got chills right now actually talking about it. Um, but, uh, they did the whole panel and Don Cascarelli actually called Angus up and put him on speaker. Um, and Pretty the man, cool. he still did the voices. He just, it, it almost, I mean, dude, it, it, I'm not going to lie. Me and about 50 people in that fucking room were in tears fucking hearing him. You know what yeah. I mean? Wow. And, and then he died like literally like two weeks later. Oh, wow. And so that was like right before he died. That was, that was right before he died. He was not doing wow. good. Reggie, Reggie and Gigi already told me he wasn't, he wasn't going to make it long. Well, yeah, and then we went to that. If you ever talk to Dave, like, about just people dying after you meet them, like he'll call me the angel of death. Because I've met. Well, so Bruce many Campbell is still alive. I mean, <laughs> thankfully, but I mean, I've met so many celebrities that die within like a within a week to a month after I meet them. Yeah, like, uh, oh. Mask from Tap Out died the following week after we met him. Wow. Uh, Corey Haim died about two months later. Oh fuck! I so, would have loved to meet Corey. So did Haim. Leslie Nielsen. Yeah. Wow. Oh no shit! You met Leslie Nielsen. Well, very, very, uh, it's, it's an interesting story because uh, we went to this con up in Jersey in Red Bank, well, outside of Red Bank in Cherry Hill because <laughs> we did the whole fucking little tour there and went to like the secret stash and shit and quick stop and all that stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, he told me about that. We went up there and then uh, I met Corey Haim there for a minute and then we couldn't find Leslie Nielsen anywhere. So we were like, <laughs> that sucks. He must have missed him because he was old, you know what I mean? And then... Uh, mm-hmm. We're just kind of like walking through the crowd and some old dude just falls and I catch him. And it was Leslie Nielsen. No <laughs> shit. No so shit. Then, so then like, wow. uh, my boy Mike's like, holy fuck, let's go. Cause like his security guys just snatched him up and they just went off. God but damn. Then, like, so me and my boy Mike are running down this hallway and I have two machetes in my book bag waiting, trying to get the guys to play Jason to sign them. And his security's like threatening to shoot us and shit. So I mean, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Jersey, wild, but man. yeah. <laughs> so we yeah, New, New, New Jersey's day. wild, folks. If you have not been there, but he told us to go fuck ourselves and pretty much fuck off. So that was pretty funny. Oh yeah, it's typical New Jersey. That was a good yeah. weekend. <laughs> oh yeah, said, you met Corey Haim though, man. That's that's pretty cool too. And I mean, and you caught Leslie Nielsen. Nielsen. Yeah, yeah. fuck. Not many people can say they, they caught them. them. I went outside to smoke, and then he came outside. And was like, you got a cigarette, and I'm like, yeah. And I mean, him just bullshitted for like five, ten minutes. Oh Corey God, Haim was awesome, amazing. man. He was pretty dope. Like he even signed my shit for free because he was like, "Dude, in there wants like fifty bucks, so I'll just go ahead and sign it." I was like, "Bet." So he signed my Lost Boys DVD. Yeah, man, that's Haim, awesome. Yeah, Haim was definitely like the more down to earth one. Now Corey Feldman is uh, crazy bitch, crazy motherfucker. Yeah, I still, I still want to meet that dude so bad. Same. He's, same. he's not allowed too. to come back. He's not allowed to come back to Scarefest. But he's just he's he's out there. I but I feel like Corey Haim dying really affected him. I want to go see him in concert so bad. His music's pretty dope. Thank you. No, I want to see him too. I, I I know I won't probably like the music, but just the sheer amount of work he put into his live shows is impressive. Yeah, I mean it's all but, pretty much fake at the most part, but yeah, oh, the yeah, girls I mean, they can't play their <laughs> instruments. It's all it's all audio. It's 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 not. You can yeah, watch the video. That Ascension Millennium video came out. I was done. Like I was sold. Hey, it's a better Millie Vanilli. Just saying. Pretty much. Like his Cry Little Sisters <laughs> cover is pretty dope too, though. I was gonna say I heard that recently, and it's not horrible. Because I think I think I sent that link to Dave the first week I came on and joined the podcast. Uh, I mean, I, I it actually because Manson did a, a cover of it too, and it wasn't horrible. It's actually it no, kind of shocked me. It shocked me that Manson. Either. I'm gonna check that out later. Yeah, it, no, it, I it saw him live do it. No doubt. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Uh, Manson Manson's version isn't bad, and I. Uh, it sounds like Manson. I, 
I was shocked he had he hadn't done it before. Um, but I mean, you know, you've got cry little sister, and then you have like Corey Feldman who actually is like cry, little you know. I mean, like it's like all right, I, I can dig it. That screen's pretty good. Have you like, have you seen the video of him performing that shit live? Yeah, yeah, he does a pretty good job of it actually. Yeah, he, he just needs to he needs to quit doing the hoverboard thing because he f- seems to fall off of it a lot. <laughs> like I, I, I'm an I'm I'm an old school Corey's fan. Like I I mean even the two Corys man. One of my favorite no, no. of all time. You can Lost tell. Boys. Oh, Lost Boys, dude. Yeah, man. But definitely. I keep hearing they're going to remake it or make some kind of TV show and shit, and it's really starting to bug me. Hey, dude, you can't. I, 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 ugh. Like, I, mean, you have, I even have a key for Lost Boys David tattoo. Uh, okay, so here's the, 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 that's a good jumping off point. So remakes. So since we, now we know, I didn't know before, that Friday the 13th is about to come back because everyone remembers the god-awful remake that buried it for like 10 one. years. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, now, it wasn't horrible. It was pretty enjoyable. There were some okay. things that didn't make sense, but it wasn't horrible. I, it wasn't, I I liked it better than Halloween Kills, bro. Really interesting. Yeah, I did. I don't remember anything about the remake, but let's not get started on the the remake for N- Nightmare on Elm Street that basically buried any chance of that being rebooted. Oh, that was horrible. Michael Bay should stay away from horror. Period. Michael Bay should just stay away from everything. <laughs> Including uh, allegedly Michael Megan Fox. Well, just yeah. How about how about <laughs> I just stay away from anything that I like? How about that? No, there, there's, there's, there's some uh, some stories about why Megan Fox is not in the movies anymore, and it, it basically involves that old story uh, being though. a chi- giant child. And the fact I, they actually used child molester instead of murderer, that just yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. Just, too much. Like we get it. He's supposed well, to be. We get it. See, that's that, that's really her family fan. But he that that movie was rough, man. Yeah, man, I, that's that's it the thing about not Murder Elm Street. All right, that's that. You know, if we're gonna if we're gonna go on this now, um, no, no, we're just saying remakes and stuff. No, but I mean, like the not Murder Elm Street remake. I mean, it was okay. It was, it was rough. Not Murder Elm Street, and you you you've always. I mean, you always know he was a child killer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know, he goes after teenagers in all the movies, but you get sense, you know, you get little flashbacks and whatnot through all the Nightmare on Elm Streets that shows that he kills younger. Yeah. Um, fortunately, you never see that because I, I, that would fucking destroy me. I don't like that shit. Yeah. I, but, would, I would instantly never watch that movie again if they showed stuff like that. But it was never said that he was a child molester. Mm-hmm. That's the weird thing. Um, I remember years ago, um, I was given a DVD that it was basically, I can't remember what the fuck it was called, but it was a bunch of different horror scenes in one DVD. It gave you a little bit uh, of information about the killer, and then it would give you like a very famous scene from this movie, whatever. Mm-hmm. And they did not murder Elm Street, and they mentioned Freddie as child molester, child killer, you know, whatever the fuck. I'm like, what the hell? That's never, that was never mentioned in any of the movies. Yeah. I feel like it, it was, it was never mentioned. That, yeah. I feel like it's something they made up to thought, make it seem edgier. Yeah. In the remake, in the remake they did yeah. in the remake. They told her that's all they went with. And they were yeah. trying to see was, was, was Freddie really guilty? That was the right. whole thing about that movie. Was he really guilty? The day was just that he killed kids, and that's why the parents killed everybody. Yeah, right. Which and sounds a yeah. lot more interesting than oh, he's just a straight up child molester. Right, because who wouldn't want to kill a child molester? Yeah, that's I mean, I, I mean, there's a lot of child molesters I want to kill. Right. Kill your local child molester. I'm going to say yeah. that with no problem. But yeah, you know, with like the FBI calls all of us next week. <laughs> yeah, really. But yeah, the the Freddy the Freddy thing with him being a child buster was just a bit like, are we trying to be edgy now? Right. Well, I think what it has to do with it has to do with they, the lizard people, just... and uh, they're they're out there everywhere, and they're they're causing <laughs> problems. No, I don't know. Help no, no, we don't, down. we don't, we we don't want that crazy fuck trying to like, hey, get money hey, from us. He's crazy. 
He's crazy, but he's got a point about things. Yeah, I get it. But we're not gonna we're not we're 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 not we're not talking about Alex Jones right now. Okay, okay? So that's right. not what we're doing. Okay, we're, we're, we're talking Left about field. remakes. Left and field. Things. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna rip my shirt Left off field. now and get mad as shit. I'm just kidding. No. All right. Okay. So <laughs> she. I missed you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I missed you too. But, uh, oh, have you have you seen the poster for? It's not official, or it is official. I haven't found out if it is or not for uh, the the Hellraiser remake. Yes, it's it official. Be a TV show. Or it's official. It's a TV show. It's a TV show. It's yeah. official. That that looks sick. It looks it so looks good. badass. It looks yeah. badass. I'm and crying uh, bloody tears. Perfect. Like the ice on the cake. I love it. I, I, I look. There's a lot of people, you know, because Doug Bradley is Pinhead. You know what I mean? That, that's all. The, we'll always know him as Pinhead. I mean, I've got oh, this yeah. big fucking tattoo on my elbow for a reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Pinhead is one of the greatest characters ever created. Cinnabites sounds like Martin a King horrible Marshall. fucking cinnamon snack. But <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the uh, oh my the god, Teddy Grahams from back in the day. Yeah, oh, yeah. the cinnamon Teddy Grahams. I'm but, dying. But, Cinnabites. But, it but makes Clyde a Barker, delicious snack. It's a delicious <laughs> snack. It is. It will send you to hell. Yeah. <laughs> no eating, child. It's a waste of perfectly good suffering. And um, cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of the, he was one of the first he was one of the first cons I ever went to back in the day when I was like seventeen or eighteen. Oh yeah, he's been around for a while. Yeah, he's the guy's awesome. great. He's dope. He's a nice guy. I've never got a chance to meet him, man. I had a a buddy of mine years ago who uh, he used to do a, <laughs> a a YouTube channel called uh, Zombie TV or something. And he would interview fucking people. Uh, interviewed Lloyd Kaufman, all kind, you know, Tony Todd, whatever. And he found out that Doug Bradley really likes White Castle burgers. <laughs> yeah, uh, I remember he, this story. He has a soft spot for this shit. Mm-hmm. And that's how he was able to hang out with him. And there was it was a whole convention thing going on. And he got to hang out with Doug Bradley, Robert England, and Tony Todd and just doing shots all night. And so for anyone with me. needing context – one of the other podcasts, he says the whole story, and it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. So I suggest you watch, was it episode two? I was think it so, one yeah. or two? It's one or two. I can't remember. I'll have to go back <laughs> but, but it's hilarious. Uh, I, uh, yeah, it, it was the first episode. I was crying because it was so hilarious. You were in <laughs> rare form that night. I was very Thank drunk you. that night. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was episode one. That was episode wow. episode one where I got drunker as as the minute went. Yes, yeah. I'm slowly so getting there any, now. If anyone if, if anyone wants to check out the whole story, definitely check out the first episode because I feel like it's it's one of the funniest ones. I, I appreciate that. I, 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 I'm I playing at some point in like the day, but usually it's whenever I'm just like needing background noise. You know what I mean? No, oh, well, there like, you go. Like, you can laugh drawing, your ass off drawing, hearing about. I just need some like music or some background noise, and I'll just throw some shit on. Yeah, well, there you go. You can all my podcast. Like Hellraiser, though. Talking about this new thing, though. Going back to that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they came out with Hellraiser Judgment. Um, and people were were like, uh, "Where's Doug Bradley?" <laughs> and Doug even says that Duder that played that you know that played Pinhead did a great job. Um, Interesting. So, I haven't seen it just because I wasn't oh, so I'm good. Not sure, I'm not sure if it's Judgment or the one before it. Bradley. Yeah. Revolution. Yeah, it was, Revelation. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Bradley and uh, yeah, Clyde Barker rough. said, "Don't watch the movie." The Revelation is not. Contact. Yeah, they didn't contact us. They didn't get yeah, permission. Yeah. So yeah, I refused to watch that. The movie was garbage. I mean, uh, at least, at least he kind of like passed the torch to the new guy. Like unlike England with the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street shit, because he despises that movie. Yeah. So, Jud- so, so uh, Hellraiser Judgment. I'll have to check that out at some point. It's it's it, well, here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and give you a warning. And anybody else listening to this, if you mm-hmm. haven't seen Hellraiser Judgment, watch it. Do not watch it while you're eating. 
<laughs> oh, whatever. I I watched the Walking no, Dead. No, dude, I I, that, that shit that shit doesn't bother me. Me and my ex, I hadn't watched the movie since it came out, and I was like, you know what? I want to watch Hellraiser Judgment. We're eating Chinese food, and uh, the first ten minutes of that movie is so disgusting that it, I I was like, I can't do this. It was making me sick. Um, okay. I love it. Well, it's really? great. Challenge I mean, it's, accepted. It's good. It's challenge, challenge accepted. accepted. You'll gag yeah, no. at least a couple of times. No, 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 no. Challenge accepted because I watched the Green Inferno. You know, everybody was just like re- ranting and raving about Eli Roth's like Green Inferno. His Holocaust. I was, yeah, I thought it wasn't that great. I'm just like, where's the disgusting parts where I'm like, I can't eat. I'll gag. I was kind of disappointed. I'm like, you you built oh, up no. so much hype on this movie, I dude. Seen it yet either. Green Inferno is not bad. It's a it's a homage to a uh, Cannibal Holocaust. It is, um, but apparently Cannibal Holocaust is worse. In terms have you of never seen it? I've never seen it. Really? Oh wow, that's a dope movie. Uh, yeah, go watch it once. Like documentary, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the thing about Cannibal Holocaust, and we're not going to get on this whole conversation about that, <laughs> but um, my issue with that is the fact that there there is actual animals being killed in that movie. Oof. Right. Yeah. I'm not um, and I'm not either. Um, and you know, there's a whole lot of uh, myths and things about that movie that make it interesting. Uh, yes, oh, yeah, the director, legendary. the director went to fucking court because they thought that he actually was killing people on screen. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and I mean, it's pretty brutal. I mean, and uh, also I got to say necrophagia, New Orleans uh, fucking heavy metal band that, uh, unfortunately, the lead singer Killjoy passed away a few years ago. Um, Phil and Zelmo from uh, Pantera and stuff, he was the guitar player at the time. And they actually put out um, a, a, a song about it. There's a whole – go look it up on YouTube. It's pretty fucking crazy. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, like, Green Inferno wasn't bad. It just wasn't it, – it wasn't up to par where everybody thought Cannibal Holocaust was. Hellraiser? Judgment? Dude, I'm telling you, if you really are that brave, I'm going to tell you right now. All right. You go get eat. Chinese food. You go get Mexican food. You eat spaghetti, whatever. You sit down and you watch that movie. And I want to hear you. I want to hear what happens. Okay. You're going to be honest with me. Because oh, no, I'll be honest, I, I'm going to get food tomorrow and find uh, Hellraiser Judgment, and we're doing this. Do it. Do it. You grab the nastiest food you can think of. <laughs> and when I say nasty, I mean something that's going to be, you know. I remember yeah. one time I was watching Dead Alive, and I was eating tapioca during that fucking custard scene where the chick's ear falls off in their pudding. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, It was rough. Oh, man, Dead Alive. Classic. Probably one of the best. Peter Jackson films, and I was just res- really impressed. I'm like, this is the same man who did Lord of the Rings, right? <laughs> King Kong. Like, I what? Never even, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I never saw Dead Alive, Bad Taste, or Meet the Feebles before Lord of the Rings came out. See, oh wow. See, I didn't see any of that until after Lord of the Rings. So I'm just like, this man did Lord of the Rings, right? <laughs> and um, Frighteners. Wow. My yeah, yeah. Frighteners, a very underrated film. Starring, very underrated. starring yeah. Michael J. Fox and Jeffrey uh, Jeffrey Combs, reanimator, okay. bro. I need to, I need to see. Gary Busey, make the main the main demon or something like that too. Gary is Busey is a demon. <laughs> Gary Busey is amazing. Oh yeah, no, no, Gary no, Busey. no, no, no. He is. Gets, he will always be amazing. No, no, I'm just saying he's a demon and also insane. But that's what what makes him so like I don't know. That's why we love genius. him. <laughs> That's yeah. why we love him. Love Gary. Insane genius. His son is definitely interesting. His son yeah. is him. <laughs> he looks I mean, what's that? Man, it's crazy. Vac- his, son, was- his son is oh. a younger version of him, pretty much. Completely. They need to do like an under siege remake, and then fucking just throw him in there. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> the, I, actually, no. They don't need to make a reason. That no, that doesn't need to happen. No. This is true. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so uh, we do not. But, but, but real, real quick, yeah. real, real quick though, real quick, because we were we were we're, we're going off. Give it. I really want to talk about this for a second. Um, the TV show of Hellraiser. Um, the cool thing about it is, is they're sticking 
a little more true. And Cl- Clive has – Clive Barker has some say. Uh, he He's producing it, I think, or whatever, the TV show. Yeah, he's heavily um, involved. Yeah. Um, therefore, because Clive Barker is one of the reasons why I write horror, and he is one of the reasons why I love horror. And he is – and the day that that man passes is the day I will cry like a baby, like when Lemmy died. Oh, yeah, um, it'll be sad. Hey, yeah. Let's not talk about that. No, because... well, I, no, 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 you're right. Knock on wood. No, I ain't doing it. I, I, I ain't causing Claude Barker's death, damn it. Um, <laughs> you do. Some people will come after you. And, and, and I swear to fuck. <laughs> I swear to fuck. If he, no, we're not even going there. Anyway, people if you read the book. Money, don't worry. Right. If you've uh, if you've read the book Hellbound Heart, um, read the books. Uh, read the book. It's a quick read and it's a good read. I mean, mm-hmm. literally, you can. Re- it's a, basically a novella. You can read it literally in one night. Um, you got like if you got two hours on your hands, fucking read it. Um, in in the book, um, Pinhead is. It's said that he's a little more. Was it androgynous? No, he's not the less of the word. Um, he's a little more feminine. He the gender. He's what? The Cenobites. What? They're, they're genderless. Right. Um. And he, but he, but he kind of like he's a little more feminine. He's a little more, you know, flamboyant. Um, flamboyant. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's I mean, that's the word I'm thinking of. Um. He he. You know, the that's 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 what he kind of. The the uh, the aspect that you get from the book over the movie, um, because Doug Bradley did great. Don't get me don't get me wrong. The guy is fucking pinhead. He always will be. But the book and this new TV show, I think, are actually going to go hand in hand pretty well. Um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of stories or whatever they're gonna they're gonna lay on us when it comes down to it, but. Clive Barker's involved, therefore I'm not worried about it because anything that Clive's been a part of, I've been okay with. Yeah, I well, mean the, the, you know, the guy's a fucking genius. Exactly. Well, plus the uh, the actress playing like Pinhead is amazing. She's in Sense Eight, and if it's anyone's seen it, it's a pretty in- insanely well written show that uh, got canceled because it filmed on location. And if anyone knows, filming a location is godly expensive because it was like literally spanning the globe. Okay, like I, I don't even know who the chick is that's playing. Like playing, no, she's head. she's amazing. So I, I, I'm, I'm sure she's gonna to be see her play like a horror role. Yeah, like I mean, if you if you watch any of the 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 Hellraiser, I've been in a big Hellraiser mood here lately, so this is cool. Um, yeah, he's playing on Pluto TV. Yeah. I mean, they're great. I mean, like, I, I – well, okay. One through – I just wanted to shoot myself in the face because that movie was terrible. Yeah, Revelations is – was it – wait, I was, was, was Revelations the one with Fat Pinhead? That was the – yeah, that was the one where it just – it didn't make any sense. Oh, okay. It was fucking yeah. horrible. Like no, yeah. The incestual vibe to it. That's it was, right. I remember It was so that. bad. I never There's finished been, it. There was DMT involved, and like mm-hmm. there was some Spanish, per, like Spanish, like guy with like some girl, and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. It, it was bad. It wasn't good. I had a buddy of mine um, who I do another podcast with Whitman uh, on Cra- Graveyard Talk, and he actually gave me his copy of that. <laughs> you can. And I was like, I don't want this. Yeah, he was like, he was like here because I was trading him because we we we've always been traders. We always trade back and forth and shit. And he's like, here, you can have this piece of shit. And I was like, <laughs> all right. Um, and I went home and I got really stoned, put in the DVD player, and about 15, 20 minutes later, I was like, fuck this movie, and I threw it away. <laughs> that's pretty bad uh, you were it made me mad, you still dude. hated it exactly if a movie <laughs> is not good when you're high it's not going to be good when you're sober yeah it just it just no it's fucking it's shit the litmus test yeah yeah really? like no okay well it, it 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 seems to be a good time to to leave off on that since we're finishing up on on hellraiser but uh 
we we got a clock out and everything. Oh, I know I'm not Dave, oh, when Dave says hold on, that. Hold on, Andrew. Before you, before you fucking clock us out here, I have to finish one thing. Okay. Because I was talking about franchise killers real quick. I was waiting for that's how all, kills all this. Okay. Okay. Going going back to that real fast. We never. We, the last I don't know fucking 10, 15 years. We get all these franchise killers that we grew up and loved, and we've been fucking horribly disappointed in so many ways. I mean, mm -hmm. like, fuck. I mean, the Nightmare on Elm Street remake sucked. Yeah, the Friday the 13th remake, I don't think it was horrible, but it wasn't great. I liked it, but it wasn't great. Um, I'm Fair a enough. huge Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. And that last Leatherface they put out, which, by the way, you can't call a movie Leatherface when part three was already Leatherface, and that movie was a lot fucking better. I agree with that. Uh, I love Leatherface. I love that movie. The new one they came out with was crap. Um, we don't get, you know, we, we haven't gotten all that. And here lately, we have Michael Myers coming back. Okay. We have Chucky. Chucky Child's Play, the, the 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 whole retelling of that fucking story. I actually liked that movie. It wasn't a bad movie. I had to forget everything I knew about Chucky and Child's Play and all that shit. All that but I liked series? it. But oh, I'm getting there. The series, <laughs> the series though, is mwah, it's perfection. It's okay, it's great. I, I need to see this. Everyone's been signing off on this as a huge. Horror it's good, movie. dude. It's, it's, it's kind of like some episodes are kind of like really. But then, yeah. like, oh, like, by the end of the season, you're like, all right. Dude, It you want to talk about fucking adding in the old school? That fucking show, fucking, it, it, that's, they did it perfect. Because they took, and Andrew, you have to go watch this fucking show, dude. You really do. Because they took every fucking Child's Play movie you've ever fucking seen. And they wrapped it around this new school fucking, like, yeah. uh, story plot. And I mean, they ever everything from part one, from Child's Play one, Child's Play two, Child's Play three, they kind of skipped out a little bit on, but it's mentioned. Um, and everything after that with Tiffany and with Chucky and right. with the the multiples and all that shit, like dude, Andrew, Andrew Andy and the stepsister, and you, exactly. Oh, I love her. My mom actually got me an autograph with her, oh, wow. uh, and she. She, because my mom worked at Scare, Scare Fest last year when she was working there, and I couldn't go. And also, Felissa Rose from uh, Sleepaway Camp actually did a video for me that she actually, uh, it was her idea. I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, I'll send it to you on the page. Oh, yeah. Um, nice. But uh, but my mom met uh, uh, Kyle. I can't remember her name, the chick that plays Kyle, who I've always had a crush on. Um, yeah, she, was, she was like one of them, like Chris, uh, Christina Applegate type chicks back in the day. Oh yeah, dude. But she was a little more tougher, and I just made me fucking right, hot. Right, right. But yeah, and but she uh, she actually signed an autograph for me because I because my mom's my mom got brownie points all over the place for all the autographs she got me, and I didn't even tell her about her, and she was like, "Oh, I knew you'd love this," and she signed it. Don't fuck with the Chuck. That's <laughs> And, I, and, and, and she actually asked my mom, she's like, is it okay if I curse on this? And mom's like, yeah, yeah, he's 38. Like, it's fine. Whenever I'm at Jeffrey Abrams, she signed my reanimator DVD. You're oh, that's that's amazing. Awesome. Yeah, I oh, recently dude. watched reanimator uh, several years ago. I know, late to the party, but I fucking loved it. Dude, it's one good. of the best. That's why it's I haven't touched them arm for a reason, bro. That whole franchise is amazing. Ah, dude. I mean, the third one isn't great, but it's not horrible. Right. But I the first two, worse. huh? I said I've seen way worse. Oh yeah, definitely. I I've seen Halloween Kills. Right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, folks. That's the end of the show. Evil yep. Tonight. Have hey. a good one, guys. Evil dies tonight. Yes, sir.